in this exercise we will be understanding the lines what we have written in this plist demo view controller now basically plist is a file so it will be stored inside the file system and all the documents are stored in the document directory so we need to get the path of the document directory so these two lines will give you the path of the document directory and then we create a plist path saying slash my plist one dot plist now this file doesn't exist in your file system when you run this app for the first time now we have ns array we have seen ns mutable array we have seen ns set now there is something called ns dictionary now ns dictionary is nothing but a collection of object using key value pair where your key can be user defined whereas in array your key is auto incremented index now the mutable dictionary or a dictionary when export to the file system it converts into plist so basically your dictionary you can store your data and then you export that dictionary it will convert into the plist on your hard drive now so first we'll be creating a mutable dictionary we'll ask file manager we'll create a reference of the file manager to check whether the file exists at this plist path or not so if file exists on a plist path we'll say will be reading will be creating a dictionary using that plist so you can say ns mutable dictionary content of file and you pass the path automatically that plist will convert it into dictionary if dictionary doesn't exist then we'll be creating a mutable dictionary now it's an array of objects so even if you want to insert a primitive type you have to create an ns number object so you'll be creating ns number say i'm creating an ns number of int i'll set that object with a key one in a dictionary and then with this line dictionary dot write to the file where you put the p list atomically yes will will we will in this line will basically convert your dictionary into the p list and it's a flat file system so whenever you commit the dictionary on the same path the new dictionary will override the previous one now obviously we will be using iterators to iterate the dictionary so you say key value in dictionary you will print the key and a value what that key holds no after that we'll check whether the there is an object with key 2 or not obviously right now in this scenario the object doesn't exist so what we'll do we'll set the object for the key 2 and again we'll be printing now this object is there in your dictionary which is in your it's inside the runtime system object it's not been archived to the file system so once again when i write dictionary write to the file path key1 and key2 object will be getting written on your file system now if you run your application again you will go inside this printing dictionary exist then you will be printing the two key values this part won't get executed and again it will print two key values so let's see whether the flow what we have discussed right now is basically running in that same flow or not so in next exercise we'll be running this application and we'll be verifying whether this flow what we have discussed in this exercise is proper or not